What's up guys, it's the Tech Playoffs and I'm back with another video. And yes, I did a similar video to this, but I'm gonna redo it because I had a lot of questions about how my setup was and people wanted me to try a couple things in the, uh, in the new stage mode for the iPad OS. So this is the adapter that I'm using. It's a USB-C hub. It has a uh, micro USB, I mean, I'm sorry, micro SD, uh, SD card, some USB ports, and then HDMI. It's a type C hub. So this goes into the iPad. This is what I'm using at the moment. So I know a lot of you guys ask, how did I hook this up? This goes into my iPad, HDMI into this hub, and then the other side to that monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead so I can show you guys how I did this. So I'm gonna plug this in. Straight into the hub. I'm using a, a Bluetooth mechanical gaming keyboard that I have hooked up to the iPad, and then a Logitech uh, Pebble, a Bluetooth mouse. This is the hooked up to the iPad as well. So that's how I'm gonna be controlling this. So I'm gonna plug this in, and we're gonna see if we have better luck here, because I haven't tried this yet. I tried it on the ultra wide, and the display didn't come out good at all. Uh, but I'm assuming that's because of the ultra wide display. And this seems to be the same way. So someone told me that if you go into settings on the iPad, you can change this. I'm not sure how true that is, but let's try it out real quick. And I want to do this with you guys so you guys can, you know, see what I'm doing, run through all the troubleshooting with me as well. Um, and if you don't like it, you can skip it, but I'm just trying to show you guys what I can do here, what we can do here. So you see, there's some display settings here that you can change. It says built-in retina display and the monitor model number that I have hooked up. So I can go ahead and change this. So this affects that of monitor. And then I can go into maybe standard. Let's see if that changes anything or zoomed. Let's see. I'm trying to get to where you're supposed to see a dock right here on the bottom. So I know a lot of people, a lot of people were showing this work on Apple monitors. Of course, it's going to work on an Apple monitor because that's, that's what they want you to use. They want you to spend that money, but not everyone has that luxury. So, so here you can see the arrangement on where the iPad's at versus the display, and you can move that around. And that's how you know if you're gonna have, you, if you're gonna move your mouse cursor up and down, or uh, left to right, or right to left, or top to bottom. So you can move that and rearrange it on how you see fit. But, I'm, I don't think I'm able to change this. So where I can get the bar on the bottom here, there's, there's supposed to be a dock here. Let me see. Let me try zoomed. See if that changes anything. Okay, there you go. So if you do zoomed, it seems like it changes it and it fixes the issue. So I'm assuming that'll work here on the ultra wide, but I have it set up here now, so I'm going to leave it here. But if you guys ran into that issue, as you see, you can go into your settings and then go into display and brightness. I know you can't see it that well because it's a little bit far away. On top it says display and then set it to zoom. But when you set it to zoom, you have to hit the set right here at the top right in order to apply that setting. So it looks a lot better now. So as you can see, these are running as two separate displays. This is not an Apple display. This is a Samsung curved monitor, 1080p. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be some people running an Apple cinema display and all that stuff. Those are very expensive displays. Not everyone wants to buy those. So you can, as you can see, you can buy a normal display. All you have to do is uh, change the settings in the iPad under display settings, and then kind of arrange in settings how you want your mouse cursor to move up and down, left to right, right to left, top to bottom. However, you guys want your setup to run. So as you can see here, now I have to dock. So if I come to not the iPad, just the display, and I tap to open Twitter, as you can see, it popped up pretty quick and it works really well. Um, a lot better than my first time. 
And I'm assuming that's because of this, the display uh, resolution was just really messed up. So I have a window here. Uh, as you can see, it'll pop over to the left or to the right. And then, let me see here if I can go to my feed. This, you see, if you go to the corner, it'll give you an arrow where you can move it up and down and then just resize the window to whatever size you want it. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so you can bring this up. I'm gonna open something else. Okay, I'm, so I'm just trying to mess with it live on here so you guys can kind of, if you run into the same issues, you can do the same thing I'm doing now. But my dock for some reason disappeared here. Not sure why that is. Okay, there you go. So it's hidden. My dock's there because I see it trying to pop up. It's just hidden. So I'm going to go down to the iPad and try to close this. Oh, come on. I know I'm doing this on the fly, guys, and you guys are probably annoyed by this, but I just want you to know what things are possible, what things are not. And then, you know why? Because I'm not in stage mode here. And there you go. You see, it, got a for it had a forced close. Let me block this real quick. I'm sorry, guys. Force closed on me, you see system crash. So let's see, now it's in. Okay, so now it's in a new mode. Let's see, this popped up again. Okay, there you go, so that fixed the issue. So make sure, if you plug it in, yes, it will go to the display, but if you want to run that new mode, you have to make sure that it is enabled. So I open weather here, and then you see Twitter's off to the side. So this will bounce back and forth, just like Apple displayed. Uh, Twitter, for some reason, is just dark. So, that is that. Let's try to open Apple Music. And now this monitor does have speakers. So let's see if the speakers work. So I'm just going to go in here real quick, play something real quick so I don't get copyright. And it does work. So if you're HDMI outputting into a monitor that has speakers, it will play the audio from the iPad to the built-in speakers on that monitor. So that's amazing as well. And it looks very clear. Um, this monitor is a 1080p, a 90 hertz display, and everything looks really well. Uh, not pixelated, it doesn't look bad at all. Um, and then as you can see, I'm just switching through these pretty seamlessly. I'm not sure what happened to Twitter, but that just stopped working. So let's open Apple News. And as you can see, it opens up and you still have your applications off to the side. So what you, can, what you can do is, if you wanted to bring this over and drag it out from the stage to the center stage here, uh, you can run two windows at the same time. So this is more of like a desktop feel. Yeah, you can't really, um, you know, resize these to whatever you want them to be. They just get a little bit smaller, you know, a little bit bigger. But as you can see, you're running two windows at once and you can bounce in between either of these windows. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it goes up to three or four windows, if I'm not mistaken. If I hit another app, those paired windows will disappear from the main stage and go off to the left. And then it'll just go to your, um, whatever app you just opened previously. As you can see, when you get notifications, it will pop from top to bottom on the monitor as well, and it looks very clean. Um, so is it gonna give me access to this? A lot of people are asking me, well, what about games? That's a good question. I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. And I don't think the app store is gonna open up here. Let's see. I'm trying to open the app store so I can download something real quick. And I'm doing this just, like I said, I'm doing this live so you guys can see it. I'm trying to get into this really quick. And uh, where's my search button? More games. 
So it looks actually really good on a, on a, on a really large display. I thought it was going to look pixelated because it's a little bit uh, zoomed. But it looks pretty good. Um, I'm not getting what I want to see here. So I'm going to try to go to the iPad really quick and then do it this way because it's going to be easier. And then search. And then I'm going to go to something really quick. Actually, you know what? I think I have a game in here. Let me see. Okay, so it's not showing me the game. Um, and I'm wondering if it's because that's probably not compatible with this feature. Let me see. Maybe I don't have it, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing this on the fly, I know, but I want you guys to see it. So some of your questions will be answered because you guys had a lot of questions about this mode. And I'm going to go here really quick. Top free games. There was one that I was playing that was pretty good. Let's, let's do Apex Legends. Let's see if it works with mouse and keyboard. I'm not sure if it's going to, but we'll try it out. And... I was going to try another one. But... We'll see. We're gonna give it a, give it a second and see if it works. I had another one that I wanted to use, but I don't see it on here anymore. So as you can see, you know you can open up YouTube. This will work. I was just watching this video. Let me see if I can go back. Okay. So at first it was blurry, but it did get clear. It took time to load. And then you still get the full mode. As you can see, it's kind of not aligned properly. You have this black box here. And if you bring it down, you still see some of the picture here on the side. So it's not perfect, but you can go through your YouTube and watch videos. You see, you still have this black box, so it's not perfect. All right, let's do this. You're gonna run into some issues, but you have to keep in mind this is a beta one. Um, not everything's gonna work perfectly. Uh, give it time; they will iron out all the bugs. It will get better, but so far it's a pretty good feature. Um, I like it. Hopefully, they would add more to it. Uh, this looks like it's not downloading. Not sure why, but guys. You know, I just wanted to give you guys just a quick update on how this works, how this looks. I actually like it pretty, pretty, it, it works pretty well, to be honest. Um, I have faith it's going to work a lot better. Um, they're going to support more apps, I'm sure, um, when, when the time goes on, because for some reason this Twitter is not working. But as soon as developers optimize their apps to work for this mode, I'm sure it will get better. Um, like I said, I'm running a standard USB Type-C hub to the iPad, HDMI from the hub to the monitor. I'm using my mechanical Bluetooth keyboard and Bluetooth mouse. That's uh, You can get these cheap online, nothing too expensive. And then um, you can have this similar setup. You don't have to go blow your money on an Apple display. You, it'll run on any HDMI supported display. And if you wanna use this as like as a primary setup, I would get something that has built-in speakers because as you can see, it does output the audio as well and that works very well. Um, let's see here. I don't know why this is not downloading. Let me jump to the iPad really quick and see. Yeah, so it's doing the same thing. So we'll see. There was a game that I was looking at that looked pretty cool. I just hate the Apple App Store. This thing is. When they changed it, they tried to change it to simplify it, and to be honest, they made it more complicated. So, so as you can see, you can operate both uh, separately. You know, you can run something up here like a YouTube video, but the only thing is, if you open the YouTube app down here, it will close that one. So you can't run two apps in two separate displays. Uh, but you can run two different apps at the same time. Um, 
and it worked pretty well. Uh, Stumble Guys was the game I was looking for. This is a touch enabled game. I don't know if it's gonna work with mouse and keyboard, but let's see, cause I just wanna run a game on here real quick to see if it does anything. And then let's open this up. So as you can see, it's gonna run in portrait orientation and I can't change that. That's just the way the game is meant to be played, I'm assuming. But as you can see, you can open the game. You can go into settings. You can go back. It's not gonna run properly. But as you can see, you can run games in full screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. It didn't let me swipe up to close it, but I was able to get out of it. So you can see some stuff does act a little, a little weird. You know, you, you do have some imper imperfections, uh, but in concept, it works. I'm trying to see, you see this, this bar down here disappears all the time. And it's giving me a, a hard time coming to pop back up. Let's try maybe Apex. Maybe Apex will give us a difference. Uh, so you see the orientation's messed up. I'm gonna ask the guy. Good morning, play. world. And then it crashed again. So, in concept, it works. Uh, there is a lot of bugs, and it has to be fixed. Um, so, I don't know if you guys have any other questions or concerns. I try to give you guys a small little demo of how to hook it up, how it works. If you're having the issue where you can't see the bar, you can change the display setting under the tablet display Go to the iPad, go to display settings, and then it'll give you the option to change this monitor size. You go to zoomed, and then it'll give you the bar in the bottom. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to give you a demo because you guys had a lot of questions about what I use to set it up and how games operated on it. As you can see right now, the games do not work properly. Uh, they run in the wrong orientation. I'm sure that will be fixed with future updates. But if you guys have any other questions or concerns, uh, leave a comment down below. If you guys please don't mind and hit a subscribe, I will continue making these videos. And uh, if you guys subscribe and hit the alert button, you'll be one of the first to know when I do drop a new video. So guys, always, always thank you for the support because of you guys, I'm able to continue making these videos. Like I said, any other questions or concerns, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. But other than that, guys, as always, have a blessed day. And thank you so much for your support. Peace.